The Texas Solar Race Car event held at Northside ISD has reached a milestone. It has been 20 years that students have been creating and racing miniature solar-powered run cars. Here's a look at this year's event and how it has evolved over time. Beauty Queen? Yes. Lightning bolt? Yep. Good luck, guys. It's race day at NISD's Gus Stadium. That means several thousand people in attendance ready to see miniature solar cars in action. We started this event 20 years ago. It's just a small idea, working with some students at Rayburn Middle School. And to see it blow up from about 16 students then to 1,300 elementary school students today makes it very exciting. The students compete in small groups throughout the day in preliminary heats, quarterfinals, semifinals, and in a final race. Emma Thomas and her teammates worked for weeks on their car, and they won their first heat. I was kind of nervous because I saw it swerving and I'm like, is it okay? And I was like, I'm just gonna be ready for a broken car. <laughs> it takes a lot of prep work to get to this point. Let's see if that fits on the axle. The participants meet weekly with their solar car club. They get help from generous volunteers. So with the mentors and the volunteers that support students and staff at campuses, they're able to help prepare the students for the competition today. Okay, let's get somebody make another big wheel. That's when the students work to design and create their cars. They're provided with a small solar panel, a gearbox, and axle rods. It took quite a while. We were, first we didn't know, have any clue, and then we came to winning our first heat. The rest of the car creation is up to them. It usually consists of designing the blueprints of their car online. Now, some years ago, the body of the car was made out of foam, and the wheels were very primitive. And everybody was using like wooden wheels, and all of a sudden, the school had the idea, what if I used a CD, CD or DVD? And everybody laughed at them at first. It was something new, didn't know if it would work out. This year, the latest advanced science and technology has a handful of teams using 3D printers to create their cars. This actually, the chassis here, is a part of the 3D print. And the wheels? The wheels are from the 3D printer as well, too. The concept for solar cars is based on science, technology, engineering, and math education. In the past, mostly boys were interested in solar car racing. But that's all changing as girls are also getting excited about STEM education, too. Get set, go! Mia Reynosa is a first-time competitor. She says after one race, she is hooked. It was really nerve-wracking. I'm like, what's going to happen? I'm like, the others look really good. The 20th annual Texas Solar Car Race event proved to be an exciting event for all involved. And it seems that many are ready to come back next year. This year's Solar Car Races were made possible with the help of generous support from partners and sponsorships that provided additional technology, equipment, and their time to make this event bigger and better, but more importantly, meaningful and educational for the students.